Good day, and welcome to this important presentation for TVET lecturers. I'm Thomas from Future Managers, and I'm here to tell you more about how the TVET computer practice syllabus has changed and will be implemented in the 2021 academic year. We are also going to look at how the course is timed and explain the new exam process. Here are some important changes you need to know about. The Computer Practice N4 syllabus has completely been restructured to include new learning outcomes to prepare the students for the modern workplace. The new curriculum comprises of five topics instead of the modules as in the old syllabus. The five topics are Computing Concepts and Application Skills Networks and Communication Technologies Data information management and computational thinking, internet and communication skills, digital citizenship. Here follows a brief discussion of each topic. Topic 1. Computer concepts and application skills. The first pillar of the computer practice program entails the basic concepts. System technologies, which is the theory part, and application skills, which is the practical part. Topic 1. System Technologies System Technologies comprises of concepts like ICT systems, hardware and software components, the information processing cycle, operating system features, as well as file management techniques like creating, copying, deleting, renaming, and restoring of folders and files. This part is similar to the theory of the old syllabus, but outdated terms and concepts like floppy disk and dot matrix printers are omitted. Topic 1. Application skills. Application skills comprise of word processing, spreadsheets and new to the syllabus presentations. Topic 1. Word processing. Word processing includes the following learning outcomes from the old syllabus basic formatting and editing, spell check, page layout functions, tab settings, numbered paragraphs, search and replace, and columns. Although not part of the old syllabus, tables form part of the exam papers. The new syllabus includes the following new learning outcomes. All the old learning outcomes plus tables, themes, templates, and inserting of objects such as smart art, symbols, pictures, shapes, text boxes, charts, and screenshots. Take note, the students will not be required to enter large amounts of data. Topic 1. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets include the following learning outcomes from the old syllabus basic spreadsheet formatting and editing features, operators, plus, minus, asterisk, etc., functions, sum, average, minimum, max, count, autofill tools, sorting of records, printing of answers and formulas. Although not included in the old curriculum, absolute cell addressing and graphs or charts were asked in the exam papers. The 2021 syllabus includes all the old learning outcomes except graphs or charts, plus the following new learning outcomes, absolute cell references and error indicators. Take note, to insert graphs or charts are included in the word processing part of this topic. Topic 1. Presentations. This is a brand new application for N4 and comprises of the following learning outcomes. The purpose and use of a presentation. Create a presentation. Edit and format a presentation. Embedding and inserting of an object. Apply animation effects. Apply transition effects. Spell check and save a presentation. Present the slideshow and print the slides or handouts. The following are important terms from topic 1 that students should know. These can also be found on our website.
Here are a few useful links to additional resources. Topic 2. Networks and Communication Technologies The second pillar of the computer practice program entails basic concepts of network and communication technologies. This is a brand new topic which provides descriptions of different types of networks, the components of networks, guidelines for setting up a home or small office network. The following are important terms that students should know. These can also be found on our website. Here are a few useful links to additional resources. Topic 3. Data Information and Computational Thinking The third pillar of the Computer Practice Program encapsulates two important skills, namely data and information management and computational thinking. These terms may sound unfamiliar to most people, but PowerPoint slideshows will be provided on our website with clear descriptions. Take note, students will be required to use their application skills in Word, Excel and PowerPoint to complete some of the activities. The following are important terms that students should know. These can be found on our website. Here are a few useful links to additional resources. The fourth pillar focuses on the internet and communication skills. The content of this topic comprises of the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web, terminology, web browser, website, web page, etc., and search engines. Internet and network technologies should be dealt with at a non technical to low technical level. The order in which the topics appear in the N4 textbooks of P. de Villiers was changed to ensure that the student has a good understanding of the internet before the knowledge is used in computational thinking. The following are important terms that students should know. These can be found on our website. Here are a few useful links to additional resources. Topic 5. Digital Citizenship. The fifth pillar applies a fundamental understanding of the ethical or legal issues surrounding the access and use of the internet. The topic entails the following outcomes. ICTs, 
impact on society, computer-related threats, cybercrime, and to use ICT responsibly, concepts like green computing and e-waste are defined. The following are important terms that students should know. These can be found on our website. Here are a few useful links to additional resources. Integrated teaching approach. The same skills, for example, saving and opening a document, are similar across packages. Each application shows different levels of editing options, for example, in word processing, Basic formatting and editing apply on text level. In spreadsheets, the same formatting and editing could be applied on cell level and in presentations, the same formatting and editing could be applied on box level. Integration of the different topics and applications will be done. For example, to complete the theory assignment that forms part of the semester mark, Students need to complete the answers by using a word processor. Elementary document formatting and editing is required. In order to solve a computational thinking problem, students should use Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Students should be able to insert a relevant piece of text and object or chart from Word or Excel into a PowerPoint slide. Teaching time. The recommended notional hours for the course are 110 hours, which is broken down into 72 hours minimum contact hours, which must be led by the lecturer or instructor, 32 hours minimum time for the students to work on their own, and 6 hours internal and formative assessments. Take note. The Practical Assessment Task, PAT, nationally set, should be done in two sessions of one hour each in a supervised environment. Pass Requirements To pass the subject, a student must obtain a final mark of 40% when the internal continuous assessment mark and the external examination mark are added together. The ICAS mark and external exam mark will be calculated together in a ratio of 40 to 60 to be resulted. The ICAS mark or semester mark is determined out of 100 and is compiled from an unsupervised assignment that covers the theoretical components of topics 1, 2, 4 and 5. This mark will contribute 10% to the ICAS mark. Take note, the assignment should be completed by using a word processor. A supervised practical test that covers at least two packages, for example, Word and Excel, contribution to the ICAS mark is 15%. A supervised practical assessment task, nationally set, will count out of 120 marks and contribute 25% of the ICAS mark and an internal examination that covers at least 80% of the syllabus content will contribute 50% to the ICAS mark. Take note, sampler exam papers and memos are available in the future manager's lecturer guides. Old versus new, N4 external exam. The old for N4 computer practice external exam paper consisted of three sections, namely theory, word processing and spreadsheets. The new N4 exam paper will comprise of two sections. Section A will cover all theory aspects of all topics. Questions will include short answers, multiple choice, true or false, in matching columns. Take note, the understanding is that this section will be completed by using a word processor. Examples of questions follow on the next slides. 
section B will cover the practical aspects of mainly topic 1, which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and topic 3, which consists of computational thinking, as well as an integrated solution. Section A will count out of 80 marks and the time allocated is 60 minutes. Section B will count out of 120 marks and the time allocated for the section is 120 minutes. So, the duration of the paper will be 3 hours. Examples of short questions. There are different formats in which these questions can be asked. Students should read properly and execute the instructions. For example, type each answer in the space provided. Examples of multiple choice questions. There are various ways to answer these multiple choice questions. For example, answer your question by underlining and highlighting the correct option for each statement using grey 25% highlighting. Examples of true-false questions. True and false questions can be answered by selecting the correct option from a drop-down list or by drawing a line through the wrong answer. These are the only two ways of expecting the students to answer. Examples of matching columns questions. Students should follow the instructions to match the content in column A to content in column B. For example, here they should type the acronym followed by the letter in brackets. <music> Example of a practical questions. In section B, students will be given a scenario, followed by questions to be completed with Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Take note, students will not be required to enter large amounts of data. The required data could be retrieved from a folder. Tips for lecturers. The student book is accompanied by a lecturer guide, exercise CD with memos included, study guide and PowerPoint presentations. The lecturer guide has additional exercises and memos that can be used for formative assessments. Make use of PowerPoint slideshows for the theory content. The glossary at the back of the book has useful terms and definitions. Computer practice will enable students to acquire important life skills that could lead to job opportunities. Be enthusiastic and positive to create a perfect learning environment. Good luck! <laughs>